question about the uh, collaboration, not com competition on European level, on European Union, it's very important. And we all uh, have to think about open innovation and uh, that Europe will go like uh, to the um, like like a leaders in, in the innovations field, and uh, I hope so one day <laughs> because as usual, uh, states and Japan are, are leading this this field. Anyway, uh, continuing our, our conference, uh, I would like to come closer to Slovak Republic and to invite neighbors uh, from Czech Republic. Uh, Mr. Liber Friedl, and he will have a presentation at Cluster, Life Sciences, and New Digital Age. So, the floor is yours. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for invitation, uh, organizers. My name is uh, Liber Friedl, and uh, uh, I'm independent consultant working uh, for uh, European Business School my uh, experience uh, from cluster development is rooted uh, 12 years ago when I worked as a director uh, in uh, Center of Applied Economic Research in Thomas Bata University. And we, uh, we were working on different cluster initiative and uh, cluster development in the Czech Republic. So uh, my, my role uh, here according to negotiator for uh, uh, his organizers. It may be back uh, a little <coughs> to the basic and uh, I'd like to introduce five uh, topics. Uh, one uh, is some context which, which you probably uh, well, well uh, know what is the cluster, uh, what are clusters, and what is the role of clusters uh, with a triple helix and uh, in uh, innovation ecosystem, what is the current situation in the Czech Republic, and maybe what are, from my point of view, some challenges and some recommendation, because I'm working now with many companies uh, from production and so on, not uh, from the university point of view or research point of view, but from very practical uh, producing companies. So also I would like to, to introduce some kind of context uh, in, in life science in Czech Republic. So uh, <clears throat> the context maybe is, is very clear. Everything is uh, going uh, from the state to, to, to regions. Uh, many initiatives were established in the, in the regions, also in the, in the Czech Republic. Uh, and the, the development uh, of innovation now also in Czech Republic started from, from the root, from, from regions. However, still we lack the button-up processes because uh, the innovation is not started by companies, uh, but uh, mostly by uh, universities uh, or uh, state and governmental agencies. So the, the button-up process, which is worldwide very, uh, very known, uh, we like it, and uh, it's also my role to motivate companies to, to, to start initiatives in innovation, in uh, research, and <coughs> put the initiatives in, in clusters. Because there are uh, <coughs> very uh, good conditions for geographical clusters to, to, to innovate, uh, to collaborate, and uh, we already heard the uh, practices from cluster here uh, in, in Italy. Uh, in, in my country, there are also local innovation policies in different regions. We established regional innovation centers and we created uh, local policies uh, for innovation which uh, can play a key role uh, in fostering the, the, the learning process. And what is the basic for, for clusters? Uh, 
we are now here to, to sharing uh, experiences, to, to sharing uh, knowledge, and the knowledge spill over and sharing knowledge is the typical effect for clusters, collaboration, for cluster development. So what uh, formally what the cluster is, uh, here are two definitions uh, from some kind of, of guru in strategic management uh, on international level, Michael Porter, and uh, he defines clusters as a geographic concentration uh, of related companies which have some uh, inter interrelated possibilities to, to cooperate uh, organizations and institutions in particular fields. So in your case, it's uh, life sciences in our country, mostly in, in machinery, automotive, uh, uh, information technology, but uh, in some way also in uh, life sciences. Uh, Clusters are constituted with uh, or from from many stakeholders, many members. Uh, here is uh, a list. Mainly, it should be some kind of, of uh, end producers and and uh, service providers, which uh, create the core of the of the cluster. And those are the companies for uh, which the cluster is very useful. Uh, to, to cooperate, but they, they need some kind of support, uh, some kind of uh, collaboration with uh, different other different stakeholders, um, suppliers, financial institutions, firms uh, in uh, related uh, or complement uh, complementary uh, industries, firm, firms in uh, value chain, or for example specialized infrastructure providers, so transportation, logistics, and so on. They also need uh, some governmental organizations here, mainly in, in our country and in the world, uh, in universities and research centers. It should be some kind of think tanks or vocational training providers, private or, or, or public, and Governmental agencies uh, in Czech Republic, typical uh, agency is uh, Czech Invest, which is governmental agency uh, started uh, in two, 2005, a movement for, for cluster development, which was funded by uh, EU money. Sometimes clusters may include trade association or other collective private or public sector bodies, but it uh, depends on, on, on situation. Uh, I use this uh, model of, of a cluster because of some next slides which uh, I would like to, to present. Uh, and as I said, uh, some companies, the, the main companies are in the core but the cluster needs the support uh, infrastructure from uh, suppliers, uh, from uh, training agencies, from, from government, which create the, the support or the soft uh, infrastructure for clusters. And there is also a physical infrastructure, uh, power supply, uh, logistics, transportation, and, and uh, other things which are necessary for cluster establishment and cluster development. Uh, maybe it's useful to uh, imagine the, the cluster as a uh, triple helix because this cooperation uh, among uh, state, regional, uh, region or, or regional government, among universities and the companies are the DNA of each, each cluster. And my experience is that uh, there is a relatively good collaboration among uh, region and universities, but still uh, in, in our country, uh, we lack more involvement of, of, of companies to the uh, cluster uh, <coughs> initiatives and cluster organizations. Uh, 
it's not, not easy to say uh, what are clusters for. Uh, if you know the, the book of Simon Sinek, uh, Start with Why, so also in this, this case, why clusters are useful. Uh, in our country, my experience mostly to increase productivity and operational efficiency. Uh, many clusters in our countries collaborate on, on, on training, on uh, shared purchasing, trying to uh, foster the negotiation power because the, the small company itself is nothing, but uh, if the small company is a member of the bigger cluster, there is a better chance to negotiate uh, prices and, and uh, cooperation with some uh, support institution. However, uh, still uh, there is a huge uh, opportunity uh, to cooperate and stimulate, enable uh, innovation, for example, with the joint uh, research and development to uh, not to reinvent the, the, the wheel once more and once more. And also the, in, in our country, uh, the experience is that the clusters, oh, sorry, facilitate commercialization uh, and new business formation, for example, by uh, participating on trade uh, uh, exhibitions to, to foster distribution channels and uh, so on. <clears throat> to develop the cluster, uh, there is a three-stage process. It's not uh, one stage uh, to decide to have a cluster and everything is uh, ready. Usually it starts with initiatives, with cooperation of some companies uh, which would like to establish some platform for collaboration to, to be close to each, each other. And then the next step uh, is to create some kind of organization, uh, public, private organization. So if we think about clusters, uh, usually we think about cluster organization as a former part of uh, the development. And the next step should be, and it's, it's very useful for, uh, for innovation, to associate cluster organizations. So in, in our country, we have a national cluster association, uh, and uh, it's some kind of, of the roof uh, under which is working more than 50 different clusters uh, through the Czech Republic. So, Cluster initiatives is the first step, uh, as I said, in uh, my country. Czech Invest as a governmental organization was the initiator, uh, which used the EU programs and EU money and created the first wave of the cluster development and cluster initiatives in the, in the Czech Republic around 2000, uh, 2005. Then, uh, we created formal organizations, usually not profit associations or maybe uh, in some kinds uh, companies, limited companies and, and so on. And as I said, uh, we have 57 cluster organizations. Here is, here is the, the, the map, so uh, maybe in, in the good uh, coverage, each organization or cluster organization has different uh, target and, and goals is, uh, in different kind of, of uh, activity, motivation. Uh, so it's not, not easy uh, to, to involve new companies to, to clusters and maybe uh, the, the process of, of growing cluster organization is that now more uh, stable or in decline uh, uh, stage. I try to find some uh, 
clusters in uh, life science or near the li life sciences in, in, in our country. Uh, and this is minority, unfortunately. So it's a huge <coughs> opportunity to, to develop uh, clusters or collaborations in your field or in, in uh, life sciences in Czech Republic. Here are uh, what I found. And it's not easy business uh, because, for example, one organization in, in pharmacy is now in liquidation. So it's, it's easy maybe to establish the clusters, uh, but it's not so easy uh, to keep it moving to, to sustain the initiative in the organization mainly. And it's, it's our case in our country when the uh, public funding is, is ended. So this is the case uh, which is very, very risky. And from my point of view, it's a question how to uh, sustain uh, clusters after uh, the, the funding period from uh, different uh, projects and uh, funding from uh, European, European Union. So if you would like to, to, to make a contact with uh, such uh, clusters uh, which are here in uh, life sciences, uh, for sure you are invited and cluster managers from those uh, organizations uh, would like to, to uh, cooperate. Oops. Uh, what is new uh, from June this, this year, uh, our main stakeholder in cluster development in innovation uh, is Czech Invest organization and uh, also uh, technology agency of the Czech Republic and those uh, two companies establish new agreement uh, for the regions as an entrepreneurial and innovation regions in, in our countries. Uh, so trying to move some, some steps uh, towards the uh, innovation ecosystems in, in our country. Uh, and it's uh, also because producing companies uh, found that the cost optimization, which is the main strategy for automotive industry and, and so on, is uh, failed. So it's not easy to sustain uh, cost reduction and still reduce the cost and be innovative. So this is the reason why we expect the, the movement more towards uh, ecosystem or innovation ecosystem uh, in, in our country. Uh, in 2014, uh, we had a project, uh, INCA uh, 2014 plus, which uh, researched the situation for uh, innovation ecosystem in uh, our country. And here are some starting points uh, also represent my point of view. Uh, innovation and invention is not the same. Uh, I discuss with, with managers from different companies and still there is a lack of understanding what the innovation is. Uh, what is the difference between invention, between intellectual capital and, and innovation? So uh, also here, you know, the result of, of uh, or the starting point for the next uh, future is to understand that innovation and uh, invention is not the same. And also that the innovation has many, many different forms, it's not only to invent something uh, completely new, but uh, it should be uh, not, not the transformational innovation, but a uh, very little kind of, of uh, improvement. Uh, the next starting point, uh, which is from my point of view very, uh, very important, Strategy of individual firm or company is the key element for innovation ecosystem. And, uh, in the European Business School, I'm responsible for MBA programs in strategy management, and it's very hard work to uh, 
motivate managers to establish clear strategy, not only for company, but also for the innovation, for uh, cluster development and, and so on. So the, uh, it means that the strategy uh, is the key even for, let's say, agile companies, which are very, very flexible uh, in uh, their life. Uh, the other thing, from the consulting point of view, uh, it's not only about external uh, innovation ecosystem, it's also about the uh, company culture, corporate culture. So it means that, that we, uh, we need to think about uh, or consider internal ecosystem too, not only the, the external thing. And the last, uh, I think it's, it's general, Innovation ecosystem, regional or national innovation ecosystem is still a part of the global uh, innovation ecosystem uh, concerning the international cooperation and so on. Uh, maybe some kind of, of inspiration. I worked a few years uh, with uh, A.T. Kearney on the project called Improve. Uh, improving innovation management performance with sustainable impact. And we did a lot of uh, benchmarking according this uh, house of innovation, uh, the model which is, uh, was established by, by A.T. Kearney. And the model uh, shows that each company, each, each maybe each reg uh, region, each uh, university, uh, governmental institution needs some enablers, needs some kinds of, of uh, driving forces uh, with HR management, uh, knowledge management, uh, program or project management, uh, many research organizations and, and public agencies are good in program and project management, uh, manage EU funding and so on. Uh, for companies, what is important to manage the innovation life science. So from idea through processes, through some business model to commercialize, to launch the practical uh, effect of innovation on, on market. And it's not possible uh, without some kind of, as I said, uh, internal uh, innovation ecosystem, so the, the culture uh, for the uh, innovation and uh, without uh, innovation strategy. So my uh, idea about innovation ecosystem is how to build the, the innovation village uh, which are uh, established from such kind of houses of, of innovation. So the government, national, regional uh, government, governmental organizations, and his uh, or their uh, houses of innovation should be very effective for cluster development. Uh, also universities and uh, R&D institutions should have some kind of house of, of innovation and for sure uh, companies from different different industries. If only the, the house of innovation is established by the, the company and not by the government and by the university, uh, of course there is a risk for the sustainability of, of, the, of the cluster. Uh, the Inca project also uh, found some uh, barriers of, of innovation. Um, the hot topic in our country is lack of, of people. Uh, so lack of highly motivated people with the uh, skills relevant to the, to the industry, to the, to the project, and so on. Uh, maybe uh, we lack market competencies of, of companies, so it's, it's uh, difficult uh, to translate the soft competency to hard money uh, from, the, from the market as a result of, of innovation uh, process. And of course, many, mainly small and medium companies uh, are not so strong uh, concerning the financial uh, resources. 
What are the challenges uh, from such kind of, of development? Managing ecosystem with, with clusters is like um, managing of the triple helix. It means the cooperation among industry, government, and, and, and companies. Uh, <clears throat> in my country, it seems offer often that there is a hard work to, to cooperate because university are too theoretical and the companies uh, wants to be uh, in, in a practical level. So the ecosystem is a triple helix. Uh, sometimes EU funding creates some kind of artificial motivation. Uh, okay, we are going to establish some initiative because uh, we have an opportunity to be funded externally, but it's not uh, internal uh, motivation and there is a risk for the future uh, sustainability. Maybe this is the reason why uh, there is a lack of button-up activities because the internal motivation from companies are, uh, is, is limited. Uh, they try to establish themselves on the international market to survive on the, on the market and are not so much motivated to initiate some uh, cluster initiative to, to cooperate uh, with uh, governmental institution and so on. Uh, however, on the, let's say, not, not policy level, uh, we have good uh, in rising the business angel startup funding and so on, but I don't know why uh, there is no formal policy for such kind of, of development. So maybe in this case, I see uh, in Czech Republic an opportunity for life science to be funded uh, by not so much formal uh, funds, uh, but from startup investors, from, from business angels, venture capitalists, and so on. And the big challenge is to translate the idea through innovation to, to invoice, uh, to money uh, from the market. So, of course, innovation policy to, to establish the, the innovation policy, innovation strategy uh, on, on paper is more easier uh, than the innovation, innovation practice. And maybe the question mark is about how to uh, exactly measure the, the innovation, the impact of innovation, the effect of, of uh, cluster development, the, the effect of uh, cluster movement, and so on. And there is an inspiration, triple helix, from this point of view, uh, I already uh, presented. So not only the cooperation among university regions and, and companies, but to establish uh, two other triangles and, and uh, uh, triple helix to focus. What is the topic to focus on? For example, life science, and what are the competitive firms in this field? What are their creativity and their uh, innovation strategy and innovation targets? and what is the ecosystem which is created uh, in, the, in the field. And the next triangle, how to uh, leverage the, the finance, not only uh, from membership fees or public support, but also as a commercial revenue from the, from the uh, real market uh, to sell the results of, of innovation on market, not only establish the, the intellectual capital on uh, offices and, and so on. So this is the, 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 the challenge, and as I uh, introduced the model of, of clusters, there is another, from my experience, and we discussed it also uh, on a European level, Intersectoral clusters. As you remember the, the, the cluster model, so we can uh, have clusters which 
don't touch each other, don't, don't cooperate, there is a no intersectoral cooperation among clusters or clusters which, has, uh, which have uh, huge synergies. So they are near the same uh, and compete to, to each other. And the stage, third stage is uh, some kind of uh, synergy and the possibility here to find something which is unknown, some kind of a wide field which is good for innovation and it's a biomedicine, biotechnology and so on. So in the, in the life sciences, uh, maybe an opportunity uh, to create or to use this, this opportunity uh, by oh, establishing uh, intersectoral uh, cooperation among clusters to let's say involve emerging industry uh, to create some spin-offs from, from clusters, from uh, universities and to build a good social or relation uh, capital among uh, members from cluster organizations. And uh, the last uh, uh, I thought about some kind of recommendations for companies, for stakeholders, for players uh, from experiences in, in our countries. And here is the list. Uh, my recommendation still start with the, with the strategy, start with the why, why to cooperate, why to uh, innovate, why to go with this idea to, to the market. Uh, what is our strategy, company strategy, and then the strategy of uh, subjects like uh, clusters uh, and other organizations. Uh, focusing on the internal motivation and dri driving forces is another kind of recommendation. So it's better to be motivated as an organization from within uh, to establish something based on the strengths or on opportunities, but not only on external potential of, of funding on some, or some resources which are available. Don't underestimate the regional context and impact of small companies or small players because they are very very flexible and should bring uh, a huge opportunity uh, for cluster or ecosystem uh, initiatives. Don't rely only on EU funding. Uh, this is typical in, in our country, maybe not only in our country. Everything is funded from uh, European Union and it's easy for, for, company, uh, for companies to touch uh, such resources, but very risky for sustainability. Uh, because, oh, because it's necessary to calculate not only the opportunities, but also risk for companies and risk management is another uh, not so strong uh, discipline for managers. And the last one, coordinate and facilitate the process carefully uh, to use such kind of, of conferences and uh, such kind of cooperation uh, among uh, different clusters, partners in programs, in, in projects and so on. So hopefully I'm on time <laughs> a little bit. Thank you very much. And if you would like to, to discuss it, because it's a lot of things, uh, you are welcome to discuss with me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very nice and interesting and I think very uh, useful presentation. Uh, thank you for saving time, you're saying eight minutes, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we, we started with some technical problems, so we are a little bit late. But anyway, I really ask, uh, uh, ask the auditor mainly some questions. The break is very yes, important. Yes, now. the coffee break <laughs> is the most important. Yeah. So, okay, so let's go to the coffee break.